Hi children, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to discuss 7th class General Science Semester 2 Lesson 7 Reproduction in Plants. Improve your learning. Fill in the blanks. Hibiscus is propagated by stem. Hibiscus propagated by stem. The male reproductive part in a flower is androsium. The lower swollen part in gynosium is called as ovary. Okay. See here. Choose the Correct answer. The plant which reproduces through leaves is A. Bryophyllum B. Rose C. Hydrilla D. Balsam. The answer is A. Bryophyllum. So you write here A. The reproductive part in a plant is A. Root B. Stem C. Leaf D. Flower Which one is helps to reproductive? Yes. D. Flower. Flower helps to reproductive in plants generally. The agents of pollination are A. Air B. Water C. Insects D. All the above The answer is D. All the above because air, water, insects all are works for agents of pollination. Roman number 3. Matching. A. Potato. B. Bryophyllum. C. Sugarcane. D. Neem tree. E. Banana. This side. 1. Stem cuttings. 2. Seeds. 3. Leaves. 4. Eyes. 5. Anther. 6. Suckers. Potato. How can potato reproductive? Yes, with the help of eyes. That's why you wrote here 4. Bryophyllum. Bryophyllum reproducts with the help of leaves. So, 3. Sugar cane. Sugar cane reproduct with the help of stem cuttings. Neem tree. Neem tree reproducts with seeds. Banana. Banana reproducts with the suckers. Its name is called as filakalu also. So, this is the match the following. So, now you are going to discuss answer the following questions. First question, identify whether the sentences below are true or not. Correct the statements which are not true. A. The flowers in pumpkin are unisexual. B. Seeds are formed in a asexual reproduction. C. Generally roses are propagated through seeds. This is the question. Yes. First, A statement is true because of we are seeing unisexual flowers in pumpkin creeper. Second, B false because of seeds are formed in sexual reproduction. C false. Generally, roses are propagated through stems. Generally, roses are propagated through the stems. Second question. What do you call the transfer of pollen grains to the stigma? Explain its types with the help of labeled diagram. The process of transferring pollen grains from anther to stigma is known as pollination. Pollination is of two types. One is self-pollination, second one is 
கிராஸ் பாலினேஷன் செல்ஃப் பாலினேஷன் இஃப் த போலன் லேண்ட்ஸ் ஆன் த ஸ்டிக்மா ஆஃப் த சேம் ஃப்ளவர் இட் இஸ் நோன் ஆஸ் செல்ஃப் பாலினேஷன் செல்ஃப் பாலினேஷன் டேக்ஸ் பிளேஸ் இன் பைசெக்ஷுவல் ஃப்ளவர்ஸ் கிராஸ் பாலினேஷன் இஃப் த ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபர் ஆஃப் போலன் கிரெயின்ஸ் டேக்ஸ் பிளேஸ் ஃப்ரம் த ஆன்தர் ஆஃப் ஒன் ஃப்ளவர் டு த ஸ்டிக்மா ஆஃப் அண்ட் அனதர் ஃப்ளவர் அண்ட் அண்ட் சேம் பிளான்ட் ஆர் அனதர் பிளான்ட் இட் இஸ் கால்ட் கிராஸ் பாலினேஷன் கிராஸ் பாலினேஷன் அக்கர்ஸ் இன் யூனிசெக்ஸ்வல் ஃப்ளவர்ஸ் ஓன்லி இன் திஸ் ஃப்ளவர் வி அப்சர்வ் செல்ஃப் பாலினேஷன் ஆன்தர் அண்ட் ஸ்டிக்மா இஸ் இன் ஒன் ஃப்ளவர் this type of pollination is called as self pollination here we observe cross pollination cross pollination occurs in unisexual flowers can plants produce new plants without the seeds explain those methods with the help of examples plants can give arise to new plants without seeds this method of reproduction is called asexual reproduction example binary fusion budding fragmentation spore formation etc in some plants asexual reproduction takes place through vegetative propagation it may be natural or artificial now we are discussing natural vegetative propagation in some plants reproduction occurs through the vegetative parts like stem roots and leaf example bryophyllum buds on leaves sweet potato with roots cactus individual parts potatoes notches ice artificial vegetative propagation ground layering the branch of a plant near to the ground is selected and its bark is removed the branch is bent into the ground and covered with soil within a month roots develop from that branch it is separated from the mother plant and planted individually second one is grafting two plants are joined together in such a way that stems join and grow as a single plant one which is attached to the soil is called stalk and stem of the another plant without roots is called cion both stalk and cion are tied with a twine thread and covered by a polythene paper after a month the upper part of stalk and the lower part in cion are cut within another month the cion attaches to stalk and grows example mango citrus apple rose fourth question what happens if the pollen of a mango flower reaches the stigma of guava flower if the pollen of mango flower gets deposited on the stigma of guava flower then germination will not take place because because though many pollen grains land on the stigma of flowers only the pollen of flowers belonging to the same species germinates to form the pollen tube to reach the ovary if all the honey bees in nature become extinct imagine what will be the consequences nuts berries apples avocados melons peaches grapes cotton and many more plants need bees for pollination if all the honey bees become extinct these crops will be adversely affected
No pollination means the propagation of plant population does not take place. Sixth question. What are the materials required, procedure and precautions taken by you in the lab activity conducted to study the parts of the Dura flower? Materials required to the Dura flowers. New blade, magnifying glass, paper and pencil. Procedure by holding the datura flower by its stalk, its external features are observed. Observations are tabulated. By cutting the second datura flower vertically into two equal parts from bottom to top, its internal views is observed. Observations are tabulated. Precautions. Check that all parts are cut into two equal halves. While cutting longitudinally, the flower should be inverted. These are the precautions we take lab activity to conduct the Tura flowers parts. Studying. Draw the diagram of a complete flower and label the parts. So, in previous question, we are discussing about parts of the datura flower. That's why we draw the datura flower parts and label them. See here, this is the flower. Yes, petal, stigma, anther, filament, stay, sepal, ovary, thalamus, and pedicel. Okay. Eighth question, Rahul goes to a field trip with his classmates. He tries to catch an insect on a flower. Do you support this? No, I do not support this. Insects are good pollinators. They pollinate flowers when they go in search of food. This distribution of pollen by insects is a significant process as it enables plants to reproduce. So we should not do any harm to the insects. Venkat lives in a city. He maintains a roof garden at the top of his sixth story building. The rich god creeper bears plenty of flowers but the flowers do not grow into rich gods. Can you give him any suggestions to get ridge guards? Ridge guard flowers require pollination. They must come on the easiest way that the flowers get pollinated by pollinators like bees. He should plant other plants, asters, lilies, such as lavender, nearby to attract pollinators. He can also use a cotton swab or just his finger to brush the male stamen to collect pollen. Once the pollen is collected, lightly brush the female stigma to transfer the pollen. These are the suggestions to give Vankat to get rich gods. Question. Draw the various methods of artificial propagation on a chart and exhibit in your classroom. Layering, grafting and cutting. These are the three artificial methods to take propagation in plants. Thank you children. Thank you for watching the video. Next video we are uploading abundance of light in previous video i am giving question and answers of electricity lesson in seventh class so if you want to learn some more things please go through my channel and see playlist thank you take care bye bye